Welcome back inside U.S. Bank Stadium as we bring you Monster Energy Moto X Best Trick. I'll tell you, the best whip competition did not disappoint. We're back to bring you the action here at Best Trick. Cameron Steele, Mike Mason, Christy Lee, and some absolute madness. And Mace, I can tell you that uh, I'm getting the palm sweats already a little bit. Yeah, my heart rate's up for sure, man. This is one of the scariest events of the weekend. You know, Best Trick, it's pretty much your one shot. They're the biggest trick you can do. And we know some of the stuff up these guys are sleep, so it's about to get crazy. It has been incredible. And if you see that quarter pipe ramp right there, that is the jump of Jackson Strong, or the jump he will be using. As we get set to go to competition, Jackson Strong out working on the landing. I mean, talking about what he's going to do is pretty wild. Yeah, yeah. He's basically going for redemption off of what happened last year. Uh, basically double back flipping a quarter pipe, which is insane. His his ramp he's taken off of is about 12 feet tall and, you know, just straight up and down with bird on it. So nothing but the best for him. I hope he pulls it. There's a look at all of our athletes, eight in all. What else do you see that interests you other than the fact we have some massive talent here? Uh, yeah, I mean, everyone in here has got some kind of trick that's going to be gnarly tonight. Definitely Levi Sherwood, you know, coming off a gold medal last night in freestyle. Uh, he's got double backflip combos, and, you know, Josh Sheehan's got some stuff, so it's going to be insane. Eight athletes, two runs each, and, of course, the best score wins. I'm going to ask you, Mason, judging criteria, overall impression, what are, what are they looking for? Um, in best trick, you're always looking for something new. You don't want to see something that guys are doing in the freestyle run all the time, you know. And like I said with Jacko, he's doing something that no one's ever even attempted. So that's new. Other than him. Other than him, of course, yeah. And then, you know, Clint Moore has a brand new trick that only he's done. Um, Sheehan's got a trick he's done. And then, like I said, Levi with the double flip, you know, combinations, it's, it's going to be good. And the medalist from a year ago in Austin, 2016, Jackson Strong. Josh Sheehan and Clinton Moore all are back and all have massive goods. We've seen some double backflips in competition in freestyle. Of course, Levi using them, uh, Josh Sheehan using them. Do you think that deflates how big that trick is? No, I don't, think trick? It, I don't think it could ever deflate it. It's still a double backflip on a motorcycle. You know, that's pretty gnarly. But talking with Levi a little bit, he did some stuff in his freestyle run with the double back that he liked, but I know he still has a couple things up his sleeve, so... You know, we're not done seeing everything. He could pull out something brand new tonight that he actually didn't do last night. Monster Energy, Moto X Best Trick Final. Two runs each. And all eyes are on the Freestyle Moto X course. And everybody seems, you know, talking to everybody today, everybody seemed pretty loose and not too tense. Yeah, yeah, it's weird how they can be so calm. You know, I don't get it. So here we go. We're about to fire it up. Coming out first will be from Osaka, Japan, Taka Higashino. Two best trick medals from 2010, the bronze, and 2012, the silver. He's what I would call an expert at inverted double grabs. Yeah, he is. He's got some varials, he's got some quarter pipe stuff too, so no telling what Taka's gonna do here tonight. Fans love him. He's got a great style, great personality. And he's gonna take to the 75 foot comp ramp. Backflip, combination, oh yeah! Huge rock solid backflip straight into a no-hander lander. I can't tell you how hard that is. You're, you're going back to your grabs while you're flipping. Letting go of your bike, grabbing back on, pulling yourself back to your bars and letting go. If that makes any kind of sense to you. No, it doesn't make any sense to me, actually. That's why uh, I'm commentating. <laughs> uh, riding dirt bikes is pretty wild, and he is incredible at it. Yeah, Take a look. Walk us through what you're talking about. Yeah, you see, he has to pull for the flip, make sure he's getting a rotation good, get back to his grabs, full extension on that rock solid. That's about as big as he can do it. Amazing extension while he's upside down. Hands are on for a split second, and right before his bike touches ground, let's go. One more time. From the side, you see walks back to the double grab. Watch the extension. Watch his legs and arms. The judges are paying close attention. Basically floating upside down, not holding on to nothing. That's pretty insane. Talk as your motorcycle's upside as, down yeah, above as you. as your motorcycle spinning. Coming back, landing no hands. Land smooth. That's a good start to best trick right there. 
as a rider that does backflips, we've documented your medals. How gnarly is that trick? That's so gnarly. That's uh, next level there. Yep, got a good score on that one. And like I said, I know he has some more stuff up his sleeve, so that was probably just a good little base trick for him to get going. An 86-66 for Taka. Now from the Czech Republic, Ibor Podmol. Yeah, Podmol's a mystery. I haven't really heard what he's doing. I know he's coming back from a hand injury. He just started riding a couple months ago, so have to see what he pulls out. I know he has some body burials as well. Looks like he's going straight into the 75-foot gap. And it's his first best trick competition. Going with the bolt. Nice. One-hander lander. Up the, uh, just be totally fair. Ask questions. He gets the he gets the bolt, the body burial, spins around the side of the bike, one hand and lander. What do you think the judges look at that? As a rider, do you feel like that's something? Is that a show of control? And do you think the judges respond? Actually hit his bike there a little bit, almost knocked it out from under him. But yeah, I'm, landing one hand just kind of shows he's comfortable. It's, it's not the most technical trick to come back and land with one hand, but that trick itself is gnarly for him to feel that comfortable to where he already knew he was landing fine. It shows how much confidence he has. Pretty low score on that for a varial, but I definitely agree with that. Taka, that's Talk pretty gnarly stuff too. Yeah. You know, that's that's insane. Like I said, basically holding on to nothing upside down. So next up from Australia, Rob Adelberg, 28 years old. He's been coming back from some injuries as well. Yeah, yeah. Rob coming back off an injury. Looked good last night in freestyle, and he'll probably pull off if I had to guess a uh, Cali roll. Explain it. Yep, going to the 75. Reaches back, grabs the cut out in the back there. Holds onto it, spins around. He going, was looking for the no-handed lander. For the no-handed lander. Remember that was last night when we were watching him, he wanted that bad too. It just keeps coming off a little front end high, but awesome trick. Great extension. As you see, he starts with his hand on the seat grab. That is so crazy to me. Riding a dirt bike my whole life, I never thought I'd see this kind of stuff in 2017. He, he actually contacts that fender pretty far back. Yeah. What's crazy to me about it is the switch hand position as he rotates around. Exactly. There's so much stuff going on there. Like I said, even just taking off one hand, people don't realize how technical that is to go off the ramp, taking off one hand, preload, start fumbling your hands around each grab, and then come back to your handlebars. Do you think that's bigger than Podmall's version of the varial? I think so. We'll see what the judges have I, to say about it. I agree it. with you. We'll see if your crystal ball is on and point. My and my crystal it is, ball is way off. Oh, it is off. I'm sorry. Yeah. An 82.66. That's a hard one, though, because I will say that the Cali roll is one that more riders do. The volt is only done by a couple guys. Clint Moore, who's in this best trick as well, does it. But, yeah, maybe they just based it off that. <laughs> we saw Harry earlier today. He was fired up, just he's having a, fun. He's always fired up. Just a little youngster out here living the life, enjoying his X Games. Our youngest rider at 23. He was ninth in the best trick in 2016. Had a pretty good crash there. Looking for a little redemption, I'm sure. Wants to get that trick out of the way after having the crash on it last year. What's he going to do? I, if I had to guess, a rock solid backflip. Like I said, that'd be redemption from last year if he gets this thing off clean. And he gets it off gets clean. It. He gets it. Smooth landing, too. Came in nice. Talk had the no-hander lander there, so I think if the judges were to look at anything, they'd probably pick that apart between them. Good expression, right. though. That was great. Why do you think he stops on the ramp before he goes? He's kind of the guy that just likes to get his stuff all set up. We have steering stabilizers on our motorcycle, so probably just cranking that thing up so that his bars don't turn when he's upside down. Getting his grabs cleaned. That was good extension. We saw Big him. extension. Yeah. Arms completely out. I'm sure after he saw Taka do his, he kind of, you know, you always got to one up the next guy, so he was going for it. But then, like I said, without the no hander lander, I'd say Taka's a little higher on the points. An 85 3 3. And here, you are magic on your call, Mason. <laughs> I know my stuff, huh? All right, so with four riders in the books, we're going to come back with four more here at Monster Energy Moto X. Best trick. The final continues when we return to Minneapolis. My name is Chris Tedesco. I'm from Morristown, New Jersey, currently residing in Temecula, California. I got my start in photography through racing motocross as a kid in New Jersey. I would take pictures of my friends in between racing, and I was just hooked from there. I couldn't stop. The photo of Tom Parsons was taken at one of his favorite riding places in Death Valley, California, called Dumont Dunes. We went out there at night, but it was over 100 degrees at 9 p.m., so we had to wait it out all night, get out there before the sun was up, 
uh, Tom went loose out there and there was this beautiful ridge that was half lit. He came down from the top, crested over the middle of it and blew out this big sand cloud, contrasted perfectly against the black on the left side of the frame and once we saw it, we knew it was the one. i definitely vote for that one, right? Yeah, I mean, that, Tedesco's our buddy, but that's a great shot. Yeah, that's an awesome pitcher. Tom looks vulnerable out there just by himself. And you can vote for your favorite, make the decisions. There's some amazing photography there in that Zoom competition. And we're back, Monster Energy Moto X Best Trick Final here at X Games Minneapolis. And I gotta tell you that we've had some big tricks already. Taka Higashino sits on top with an 86 Six, six. And as we move forward with the Monster Energy Moto X Best Trick Final, it is Levi Sherwood from New Zealand who just stomped the freestyle competition, the timed run. And I'll tell you, the double backflips that he has are incredible, and he has very variations to boot. Yeah, he does. It, it's impressive for being so new to the double backflip crew. He's already got all the variations and stuff. And I don't think he wants to stop just at uh, freestyle last night. I think he's looking for a best trick goal here as well. He's going to go into the 45, super kicker. Double backflip, no handed in the middle. Ow. I don't get how he can stay in the ball to, to keep that thing rotating. Pretty much kept his hands off the whole first rotation. Finds his bars, pulls it back in for the second. That's just, that's insane. Levi's an animal. I just call him the rubber band man. He's so flexible. The extension on his tricks are so massive. He doesn't doesn't use that kind of extension. Look how hard he pulls back. And then no hands on the first rotation. Finds his bars. That's like, you know, there's so much stuff going on there. For him to hold his hands off that long, find his bars. Like I said, he's got, you got to stay in a ball on a double flip. You can't let your upper body extend or else the bike's going to stop rotating. So... You can see how good he gets right back into the tuck position there and lands a smooth, perfect landing. Unbelievable kid he is. And true, we saw it in freestyle, but we've also seen Taka's trick before. This uh, one's going to go to the front. It should go for to the sure. front. Yeah, sure, 92. Yeah, yeah. And you can see the fans tweeting. Little, it does little seem, hit there for Hart. It does seem like not too long ago, Hart was just now doing backflips. And, here we are doing doubles with no hands. Before we get back to the action, let's check out all the specialized parts these riders have on their bikes in this AT&T Inside Access with our rider Clinton Moore. Hey, what's up? I'm Clinton Moore. I'm here at X Games 2017, Minnesota. This is the gear check uh, for best trick. Kind of like the must-have, I guess you could say. So I'm going to start off with the seat. Normally standard ones are really thick and high, obviously for racing and, and cushion, but for freestyle motocross, it's important to have a shaved seat. I know it's super thin, it's not much padding. These are flip levers. So they just, they flip up. And then they flip back down for flip combinations. So when we go upside down to do a backflip and do the trick, say like a ruler flip, to get back to the bike, we need a lever against something. So we lever against these like that, and that brings our legs back to the bike and you know land on two wheels, smooth sail. This is the GPR stabilizer for your bars. So right now it's on number one. Number one's good for whips and, and whatever, for ruler flips, double grab flips. You know, for me, I just put it on number eight, so they're off and on for me. So this is important, so when you go upside down, that you're not thinking about your bars or your bars moving. This keeps it nice and still. So this front brake lever here is a custom made part for myself for the Bundy. Because I do a backflip above the bar and in the past I've grabbed my front brake. So what we've designed here is you push the front brake out of the way, it locks out of the way. I can do my trick, not have to worry about that or grabbing the front brake. Grab my bars, man, and to engage it back, there's a button underneath and just click it back for the innovation of new tricks on, on pushing and, and learning. So, so yeah, grip tape there, stops your feet from sliding, gives you great grip to get yourself back to the bike. So this is for putting your foot under. It's mainly used for anything where I just need to keep myself to the bike. It's something I made and it works great for me. So that's pretty much the setup here for X Games 2017. Best trick. It's a serious sport with a lot of thinking that goes into it, not just 
making the tricks, but getting the bike ready. Yeah, yeah. We need a lot of stuff on our motorcycles to, to keep us safe. The stabilizer being a huge one, like he said, you don't want your bars turning when you're letting go of the bike, trying to fish for your bars. So we know that he has a couple of different things he can do. Clinton Moore, four X Games medal. He was the bronze medalist last year at Best Trick. He's going into the big off ramp. Throws out the Bundy to Noendo, and a nice trick. That's a, a really technical trick. He's going through the bars, both feet through the bars, and basically back flipping his body around, catching the bars and bringing it back, and then landing no hands, too. That should take him into at least second place, I would think. Take another look through the bars. See his hand actually keeps him stable there right by the front number plate. Never even checks with the other hand when he comes back, just straight to no hand. It's incredible. The, the move of the hand as he's rotating over the bike. It's yeah. The and presence of mind to be able to put all that together. Yeah. While you're jumping a 75-foot gap on a 230-pound dirt bike. Exactly. And, and I said it last night. It's crazy these guys don't get lost. You know, you're spinning around on your bike, and next thing you know, the landing's right there. And he pulled it off perfect, though. Clint Moore comes in with an 88, and wow, you are nailing it. Mason, you have a future as a judge, possibly. Yeah, I don't ever want to be a judge, though. <laughs> like all my friends, one. I'd rather just talk about them instead of judge them. An 88 for Moore. Now Josh Sheehan, he has the double back. He's been putting it together, obviously. Yeah. And uh, he's used a double back flip. Last year, silver medal in best trick. We'll see what happens here tonight. Lining up to 45. Nice downward three-seat three grab. He just actually started working on that trick. We talked to him earlier. He said in the foam pit he can get a good carve on it and really get it out there. Man, that's a scary that's, trick. Yeah, we're going to have to take another look at it so the yeah. fans can dissect that a little bit. Slow it down a little it's bit, It's a yep. 360. 360, Talk about it. yep. Comes off axis, grabs a seat, spins. Do you see how his bike's actually turning downwards towards the landing? I know that trick terrifies him, so I'm sure he's really happy to get that one out of the way. Look at the position he's in right there. Just crunched up into a ball until he gets his grab. A good extension, too. Great extension, yeah, and that's good. And, like, right there, that's an awesome picture. You can see how flat the bike is. Actually has to get back in, correct it, and get it to the landing. I like Everybody. The, I, I like the trick. It's You know, it was, he was trying to be creative there and, and do something different. I like that. We'll see what the judges think. I think he got it better there than he did in his freestyle run. Yeah, for sure. And that's going to put him in fourth. With fourth place. Yeah, I mean, that trick could go either way. You're doing it over 45, talking did it over 75. Uh, yeah, I think the judges hit that one spot on. That was a good trick, though. Like I said, I'm pumped. Sheanna actually went out and, you know, thought outside of the box a little bit. I really like it. I like the car feature of it, the, yeah. way, the way it sets up and flows. And Jackson Strong had a crazy go at last summer's X Games, you can say, at the very least. Let's hear his story in this Toyota Path of Perseverance as Jack Matroni caught up with him. What's up, everybody? Jack Matroni here, X Games host, chilling with Jackson Strong, three-time X Games gold medalist. And as we get ready for Minneapolis coming up here, I wanted to take a look back and hear it from your mouth, the crazy story of 2016 in Austin. What happened? Last year was definitely a wild one. So at the start of the day, we had quarter pipe best trick. The Australian Jackson Strong, who has a massive trick he's about to pull here. I had my head set on doing a double backflip transfer. For me, this trick's really hard because you've got to, not only are you doing a double backflip, but you're transferring from right to left. And doing that makes it really hard to keep the bike straight in the air. And he's And unfortunately, I landed perfectly in the landing, but my suspension wasn't stiff enough. I hit the ground like a ton of bricks falling out of an airplane. Look how hard he goes into the ramp and how committed he is. Plus, with my neck hitting the bars, it cut something inside my neck. So I went to get an ultrasound with the uh, X Games medics and saw that there was bleeding in there. They were worried that it was at my uh, femoral artery in my neck. So they put me in a helicopter, rushed me to hospital. They did a CT in my neck to double check that the feminal artery wasn't cut. Someone from Best Whip crash got airlifted as well. So there's another helicopter that just arrived and I was sitting in a hospital bed with a drip in my arm. I told out to the people there if I could give me a, a lift back and they said, yeah, sure. Got me in the helicopter, I sat in the front seat and I called them saying, as the event started and I could hear in the background they were announcing the best trick stuff starting and I said, hey guys, is my bike ready? Is it going to run? And they said, no way, it's broken. I said, 
Well, you've got about five minutes to walk around the pits and ask all my other friends there if we can borrow enough parts to, to build a bike. Surely enough, when I got there, I was screwing the last bolts in. The event had already started. Helmet straight on, and everything happened that quick. Once they said it wasn't life-threatening and it was all right, I didn't think about the pain. Everything just shut off. Used my first jump as a straight jump. Checked the bike, felt way weird to normal. Everything was then broken, no parts worked, and then uh, boom, went and sent a front into the second one. Oh, oh my yes. God, he's got it! <laughs> oh, wow! It was just lucky, I think. What? It was just a combination of everyone there coming together as a team and making it possible for me to come back and uh, consume it. You're going to go for that again? Double backflip? Yeah, that's what we're sending again, and uh, hopefully it's uh, wheels down and not helicopter up this time. Looking forward to it. It's just, uh, I'll be working hard until then. I'll be standing on the sidelines cheering you on, man. Good luck. An amazing young man. Great attitude, personality to boot, and he's a bit of a throwback to the early days of freestyle motocross, that go for it attitude. You know, he hangs with Deegan, with the militia guys, and he just, he, he wants something different and he wants to go big. Yeah, yeah, and that's the whole point of best trick is, is thinking of something different, man. I'm really nervous for this kid right now. He, he's a good dude. Everyone in the pits likes him. Uh, good bike rider. I know he really wants this, man. It, it'd be nice to get the spunky off his back. He had it last year. He landed it. Just his bike blew out from under him, so I think he's got it. The double drop brought it in the quarter pipe last year at Austin. And he's let's, let's the only one using this pipe on the side. Let's know, too, pipe. he hasn't rode at all today. He's just basically on his bike, took a couple test runs, and he's just lining this thing up, so... Here we go. Come on, Jacko. He's got it. He's got it. Yes. Yes. Hold on to it. Hold on. <laughs> oh, yeah. He had it. Oh, he's, that's, he's that's a ride out. 100%. Out. That's a ride out. You can't dock him for that. There was stuff in his way once he landed. Awesome, man. 100%. I'm so stoked for Jacko. Jackson Strong from Australia. <laughs> I don't think he's stoked at all. He looks pretty relieved on what a huge trick. He uh, He's crazy. Like I said, that, that ramp he's hitting is basically vert. It's like something that you'd hit on a skateboard, and he just aired his motorcycle off it. Double backflip. Look at the Take replay, a look right? at the commitment. Transferring over. It's not just a straight double like he said in the interview. He's actually floating, you know, right to left right there. And with a broken left wrist. With a broken left wrist. That thing's still broke. He's actually getting surgery on it next week, so I'm sure that landing felt awesome. And just so strong. He's a beast. I yeah. spent a whole week riding dirt bikes with him in Baja. And uh, not only the personality and the riding, but just, you know, he has that attitude. Yeah. And to see him succeed here, just absolutely brilliant. And I'm sure the judges will reward him hugely. Yeah, and right there, that landing, that's just wanting it. You know, that landing wasn't pretty, but he wanted it right there, just trying to ride out of everything he could. Oh, man, what a relief. That's awesome when you when you don't stick something the first year and you come back and do it. And <laughs> Jack was watching, <laughs> claims it. Jack just as pumped as everyone. I mean, you never want to see anyone go down. So, for one, that just the fact that he's safe is huge, but then getting that trick off his back is, is even better. And we'll wait for the judge's score, but, of course, we're all assuming it will put him in that first position. Oh, no. Oh. Second position with a 91. Oh, wow. That's a shocker. I mean, I, I get it. They're both doing doubles, but... Wow. Well, we're a little bit stunned here in the announce booth, but the judges are the ones in control. Jackson Strong brings in a 91 for the second position as we take a look at Levi Sherwood. Currently leading. <laughs> Has the hair for the game. When we return... The second runs, if you can believe that, for Monster Energy, Moto X, best trick. We're back in Minneapolis for the X Games. We continue on with an epic competition. Just saw first time ever ridden out of trick. Right now, we've been seeing huge tricks, but we saw some really fun stuff at the Harley-Davidson flat track. And I think it's definitely worth another look at what these riders do and what they ride. 
What's up, everybody? I'm Jack Matrani, and I'm about to attempt something I've never done before. I'm about to learn how to flat track race with who other than the Harley Davidson factory flat track team. We've got Jake Johnson, we've got Kenny Coolbeth, and we've got Brandon Robinson. You're saying that the dirt is really slippery, so I want to stay completely on the tar here. When you get off the rubber, yep. it's like driving a car in snow ride. Right. I'm sure you've done that. Before, yeah, right? exactly. Nice and easy. Said, don't panic. Slow hands, slow yeah. feet. How far up do I want to be sitting on it? Well, pretty much a little further forward. Yeah, in the corners you want to be. Yeah, yeah. I'm I'm on the tank. Tank. So you guys kind of move around on yeah, the bike. Yeah, move right? quite a bit. As you lean over, you're going to be pretty much, you'll see pictures of us sitting like on the side of the motorcycle. Yeah, okay. Down, like yep, that, exactly. exactly. It's fairly light. So like on the flat, you're kind of like backing down. Yep. And then when you get close to the corner, you scoot up and get on the right. Yep. Elbow up. Yeah. Elbow up and kind of push the bike down. Kind of like a just like... Yeah. Yeah, almost like a dab. dab. Yeah. 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 <laughs> okay, big dab. We'll critique you from here. See you guys later. So this is it. This is flat track. All right, now that I got the basics covered, I am ready, full throttle. Here we come. Learn to ride like some of your favorite X Games athletes today at your dealer. H-D.com slash Riding Academy. It looks like fun for sure. I've never done it. Ridden a lot of motorcycles, but haven't done the flat track thing, but it looks cool. Yeah, could be fun. Let's take a look at our current standings here. Monster Energy, Moto X, best trick. And we've seen one run from everybody. Levi Sherwood on top with the 92. Jackson Strong in second. You and I were a little bit surprised by that. A little bit, but after thinking about it, you know, they both, in reality, they did the same trick. Jackson's was a little gnarlier transferring over, but then Levi also did his first full rotation with no hands on the bars. So it could have gone either way. If Jack was in first or second, and, you know, they both killed it right there. Gotcha. Well, the first time that trick had been ridden away from. Yeah, uh, in competition with yep. Jackson Strong. And speaking of Jacko, Christy Lee is caught up with him. The first question I have to ask you, you have been working on this trick for quite some time. How did it feel to finally execute it here? I think this trick for me was I just wanted to get it done and I didn't want to have to do it again. So tonight was the night that I did it and I'm never going to do that again. It's just, it's a stupid trick. Just you're literally falling out of the sky straight down and trying to do two flips while trying to stay straight. The bike wants to throw you off either side. So... To get that done is a massive weight off my back, and I'm just looking forward to moving on and away from that trick. We've got an injured wrist. I saw you holding your back just a moment ago. What can we expect from you now? Second place? What are you going to do on this second run? I don't think I can do anything. I broke my, my wrist two weeks ago, and I re-broke it again just then, so that's me done for the weekend. So that's it? You can't definitely can't go out? Too much pain? Definitely not. The pain's not too bad, but I, it won't hang on. It won't move now at all. All right. Thanks so much for the interview. So sorry to hear about that. Jackson Strong really feeling the pain right now, guys. For sure. He looks stoked just to be riding out of that and walking away all safe and smooth. I mean, obviously, a broken wrist, he came in with that. But as I said, a beast so strong to be able to pull that weight around. So Sherwood's hitting that top spot with the 92. Taka Higashino now taking the course for his second run. Does he have anything that he can increase that we already saw in the no hand and lander? Or is he going to do something different, maybe a body burial? Yeah, he, I know he has a body burial. He has quarter pipe tricks. It's really, uh, it looks like he's going to the same ramp, though, maybe. So maybe just try and clean up his first trick. I'm not sure what he has up his sleeve. Oh, a little rock solid indie there. Not okay. as clean as his first. Not as clean, a little rushed. I mean, it's still a gnarly trick. Taka killed it right there, but... I definitely think his first trick was just so smooth, fully extended, and the no-hander lander, I think his first run will, will carry over. And you talk about the difference. It's the it's him crossing the legs as he's going for the extension. Yeah, crossing his legs there a little bit. But with that also, it's wanting to peel his body away from the bike a bit. That's probably why he has to grab back on quicker. And then, you know, only getting the one hand off there. I mean, I know it's not a huge difference, but I think his first run should stick. Taka Higashino, great part of our sport of freestyle Moto X. And we'll get his score in. <laughs> Always smiling as we keep saying. Right now he's just outside of the medal contention, 86. Not gonna better it. And he will stay in that fourth position. So our medalist, if it finished right now, would be Sherwood Strong and Clinton Moore. And 
we'll see if Libor Podmal has something to say about that. Yeah. I also want to make note too, this is the uh, the first best trick where you've actually ever been able to use the whole course. So everything's live, both ramps, quarter pipes, and the 45. So these guys have their options here tonight, for sure. They're all kind of sticking to the same areas, but... Looks like Podmall is actually lining up the other 75. Let's see what he has for us. Oh! Oh. I really don't know what to call that. Kind of off axis, some sort of another. That was awesome, though. Nice, styly trick. I'm not sure it'll... Had a quick glimpse. It could look like an underflip. Underflip, or, yeah, kind of started as a three almost. I don't know. We'll have to get the slow-mo, but... And right there, it looks like the underflip. Yeah. I would definitely say it's more of, like, a, a barrel rolly type underflip deal, not a three, but... I think he was just kind of, his glory run there, I'm sure, is, he knows his very would probably stick a little higher. Pretty thick, trick. though. Oh, it looks awesome. Like I said, that's an awesome styling trick, and a smooth landing, rides out of it, and he makes it through another execute safe. Not going to better the score of Sherwood. Should not put him in metal contention. An 84 does better his, his score, but he's going to stay in that seventh position. Doesn't look too upset about that. It's crazy the relief you get after an X Games weekend when you stick everything and you're halfway healthy. It's, it's a pretty good feeling. For, for us, though, the Moto X is not done. Tomorrow, we have the quarter pipe high yeah. air, which should be really exciting. It's going to be awesome. I'm looking forward to that event. Alberg. And he's going to get the no-handed lander. I need to try him for two days. That was awesome. That's... That's a lot of commitment there to do the varial and then never come back to his bars. You know, never checked it. Never checked them. Spun all the way around, pulled himself back on through his grabs, and landed no hands. Smooth. Taking another look. Starts with the grab. Now, well, I love the cross-handed as he comes back, and he has to <laughs> that, that, release. And, he, and his bars aren't exactly straight. It didn't look like for a second there, but... Little turn. That's why we run those stabilizers right there. Keep your bars steady when, when he lands. No swapping in the bars, really. Hands off good, holds him off. Well done for Adelberg. Yeah, we know he's wanted that one for about four tries now, so that's awesome. And that's going to bump him up in 84-6-6. Puts him in seventh, not in metal contention. And I'm sure these guys got to know. They, they're seeing what's going on out there. I don't think they're all too bummed out that they're not moving up. They're probably just happy for themselves to, to stick the trick they wanted to do. And get a little coverage on TV. And Harry Bink from Australia sitting in the sixth position with an 85-3-3. To get to the medals, he needed better an 88. Do you think he's got something in the tank for that? I don't think so. If I had to guess, he's probably going for something similar to his first run with the rock solid backflip. And doing a little stretching, yeah. He's too young to be stretching. That's what us old guys do. We hop off our bike and loosen up the back a little bit. 23 years old, he can't be tight. And Bink. And he goes for the no-handed lander. He gets it stopped. <laughs> I didn't think he was going to make it there for a sec. That was awesome. I mean, he's going after Taka there, you know. And looked good. Everything looked big on it. No-handed lander was clean. And he got stopped for the uh, life-proof banner there. Well done. This is where it gets interesting on the judging, because how do you separate what Taka did and what he did? It's you know, going to come down to the extension, I think. Yeah, and this one looked great. Hands all the way off. Out to the side. Out to the side, yep, getting back to the bars. Same thing as Taka, just back to the bars for a split second. Takes his hands back off. That's a tough one between he and Taka. Yeah. Get another look at it. Watch the extension and commitment. The trick is so crazy. I mean, you're getting back to those grabs before your bike's even, you know, all the way upside down. That's You're going right off the ramp. I still remember when the first right side up double grabs were happening. Yeah. And everybody was shocked. Yeah. I still do those. That's all I got. <laughs> Comes up. 86. Yeah, right position in 86. Right behind Taka. That's kind of what I figured Taka's was. Pretty big, but... I thought where, that Taka had a little bit more separation from the bike. A little more separation. Feet were definitely a little more out. And hey, there's nothing like coming off the all-star break with a Yankees a Red Sox series. And we'll have the finale on our ESPN Sunday Night Baseball game at 8 p.m. Eastern.
Home run derby champ Aaron Judge leads the Young Bronx Bombers against the Sox Killer Bees at Fenway Park. I love Fenway. I've been there once. Pretty amazing place. When we return, we'll see what Levi Sherwood has. And if anybody can top him, he's setting in that top spot. Welcome back to U.S. Bank Stadium here at X Games, Minneapolis. Check out this text. Sorry, I should say tweet. And, uh, you know, everybody just having a great time watching the X Games and, and see what's going on. Yep, that has been a good weekend, Levi. The, I like the comment there. He said something about his hair. Yeah. Like hair. And I noticed that actually on the slow-mo, the double flip, his little mullet was flapping. And, and hey, man, I'm jealous. And what will Levi do now? He's leading with a 92, and uh, he could become the third rider in X Games history to take best trick and the freestyle comp he's in just, one weekend. He's been a kid on a mission this year, man. He is just winning everything, and I'm sure he's going to go for some kind of other variation of the double flip here, lining up the 45 as we speak. Back, one-handed. He's going to find out what the judges think. So, to quantify, at, at an X Games summer, only Travis Pastrana has ever done that. Yeah. It has also happened at a winter event. Yeah. Levi's just killing it. I, he Every time he learns something, he gets confident right away. Look at the slow-mo there, pulling. Knack through the first rotation. Hand off on the second rotation. That's a, It's amazing how straight he stays. Because taking a, a limb off of each side of the bike as you're doing two flips... That thing could start leaning or doing whatever. and He's just fully in control of this double backflip right now. Once again, like I said last night, foot is hooked in there, keeping him glued to that bike. When you pull as hard as you do for double flips, you could easily come apart from the bike, and that's the last thing you want. And he's pumped. What a good weekend for him. And it increases his score from the no-hander to a 92-3-3. And you see the there on the back, the Caselli 0-2, the 66. Kurt Caselli, unfortunately, passed away racing in Baja. And a big hero to a lot of riders. And it's very cool to see him running that. Of course, the Caselli Foundation working to keep riders safe. As we move forward here to Clinton Moore, sitting in the bronze medal position. See what Clinton has up his sleeve here. And now what do you think, quarter pipe? I'm thinking quarter pipe. I really like I it. loved his trick yeah, on the quarter pipe. I like what he did last night. It, it's I, something different. Like I said, best trick should always be something different. It shouldn't be, you know, something that's a staple in everyone's run. So it looks like he's over there. I think he's going to line it up. And we know he. there's rumors he's been working on the 720, which he hasn't landed yet. But I think we're going to see what we saw in the freestyle. Get it to the wheels. Oh! That was a good try, though, man. You, you got to go for it here at X Games. You can't hold back. And, and he landed it just, you know, a little off balance. And wash it out. Nothing major. He, he's going to be fine and probably stick in that bronze medal spot. Take another look at it. Look at what that. is it? That's how that, I call it an alley oop. I think that's what he calls it. But right there was a perfect angle. You can see how steep that quarter pipe lip is, and he's just full commitment. Alley oop and flipping. A alley oop and flipping. Gets back to the wheels just a little, little on the low side. Loses his balance right there. And, See, so probably caught the back brake a little bit as Will was at a dead stop when he landed. Amazing to watch the rotation, the commitment. You see him looking opposite direction yeah. of where he's going. Then he comes around to sight the landing. Little puff of smoke little there. You saw smoke, him yeah. hit the hit the throttle. And it's crazy. These bikes are you know 230 to 240 pounds, and these guys are just spinning them around like they're they're BMX bikes. So the progression is just it's getting out of control these days. And hitting the dirt. At the end there, not going to help his score, obviously. And he will stay in that position with an 88. Well, this is the last rider that can really upset the apple cart for Sherwood. It sounds like Strong is not going to go again. Of course, they'll give him the opportunity, but I have a feeling once he's called it, he has called it. Levi Sherwood watches on with a 92-3-3. Sheehan also can do the double back, which I suspect we're going to see. And with some kind of variation. 
he could compete with Levi. Yeah, he could compete. I'm not sure if he has a variation or not, but he has the double flips dialed. This should be a pretty standard trick for him. Double. He's around fine, good landing it. I don't get how these guys just do doubles like it's no big deal anymore, you know, it's pretty crazy. And it looked so, like he was coming around a little bit late. Do you think maybe he was looking for something in there and he, he knew he w didn't have enough rotation? Yeah, I mean, I don't know. Like I said, I, I've talked to Sheehan quite a bit, and, you know, I don't think he's actually worked on any variations off the standard super kickers. So probably just his go-to trick, trying up his score a little bit. I think he was sitting in sixth before this. and It was coming in a little slow, though, but he's got the muscle to get her back to the wheels. And do you think that takes him up above more or strong? More for sure. I don't think it should take him above strong. I mean, I have been wrong before. I can't guess. I agree with here, you. But well, we, I think we both thought that J Jacko was going to go to the front with his jump. Absolutely, yeah. So I would say this is a bronze medal double flip if I had to guess. What has the world come to where oh. we would say the. And I wow. Wrong. I was wrong again. Clinton Moore with the nod is going to keep that bronze medal position. Josh Sheehan brings in an 87 6 6. A double backflip doesn't take a medal yep. and it's going to be Levi Sherwood Moto X best trick here the Monster Energy Moto X best trick winner Levi Sherwood that's two comps nailed it freestyle and best trick yep he cleaned up <laughs> everybody congratulating him let's get it to Christy right away and hear from our winner Levi, as someone who has personally never done a double backflip before, I can say you really make this look easy. You took gold in freestyle, gold tonight as well. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Like, uh, I came to this event and never won a gold before, so to go home with two, this is just icing on the cake. Amazing. It was so awesome watching you out there with two double backflips and a couple variations as well. This trick is taking you forever to work on. Yeah, definitely. It's been a lot of hard work, but um, I didn't want to leave anything on the table. Like I said last night, these guys are riding awesome. Jacko with his double flip, Clint with his varial, Cheney with his double flips and 360s. It's, it's hard to keep up with, so you really got to try to stay on top. Levi Sherwood absolutely dominating tonight as well as freestyle, taking home a second gold medal. Well, we've got the stats straight now. He's the third athlete to ever do it. Metzger in 02, Pastrana in 06, and now Levi Sherwood here in 2017. A massive event tonight here in Minneapolis. The Monster Energy Moto X Best Trick Final is complete. Le Levi Sherwood is leaving with the gold. A contest of epic proportions.